Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson on post-1991 agricultural policies and strategies. Students, in the previous lesson you learned about agricultural policies and strategies during the Derg regime. In 1991, the Armed Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Forces, EPRDF, removed the military government from power. Immediately, the transitional government was established and declared a shift from the command economic system to a mixed economic system. Students, also a number of changes took place in 1991-92 in the agricultural sector. Among others, the following happened. Producers and service cooperatives were dissolved. Smallholders and private commercial farms were encouraged. Public investment in state farms was terminated. And farmers were no more forced to meet food grain quotas. That is, they became free to choose the type and amount of output they want to produce and sell in the market. In 1993, the government adopted the Agricultural Development-Led Industrialization, in short, the Adley Strategy. The Adley Strategy envisaged the following. Agricultural growth as the driving force for economic growth and industrialization. Smallholder farming as an engine for agricultural growth the utilization of domestic raw materials via adopting labor-intensive technology. Students, did you know why the Adley strategy gives priority to labor-intensive technology? Take three minutes and discuss with the students sitting next to you. Why does the Adley strategy give priority to the utilization of domestic resources via labor-intensive technology.
Have you discussed why the Adly strategy gives priority to labor-intensive technology? Very good. Let me explain the meaning of labor-intensive technology and the reason why. The Adly strategy gives priority to labor-intensive technology because labor in Ethiopia is abundant and cheaper relative to capital. Combining the massive agricultural labor force in rural areas with the vast agricultural land would help produce output at a relatively lower cost of production. It also helps to enhance income of the rural people, ensure food security, and ultimately eradicate rural poverty. Students, Adley recognizes and promotes internal forward and backward linkages of the agricultural sector with the industrial sector. Before we discuss the linkage, I want you to jot down the forward and backward linkage the agricultural sector has with the industrial sector. Do this activity individually in three minutes. Jot down the forward and backward linkage the agricultural sector has with the industrial sector. I hope you have identified the linkage. Now compare your answers as I briefly explain the linkage. The linkage can be explained as follows. Agriculture will provide the domestic food requirement, supply industrial inputs, and provide commodities for export. 
This constitutes the forward linkage of agricultural sector with the industrial sector. Development of agriculture expands the market for domestically produced goods as a result of increased farmer incomes. This constitutes the backward linkage of agricultural sector with the industrial sector. Students, at program level, ADLI consists of four components. First, let me present the four components and then I'll discuss each component. The program level components of ADLI are the development of rural-based agricultural output through a package approach. Two, ensuring accelerated economic growth to improve the living standards of urban dwellers. Three, adopting an effective education strategy and Four, the preventive and primary health care strategy. Students, in the first program component, the package program is selected as a strategy to ensure an increase in agricultural production and smallholder productivity. The program requires the development of different packages that suit different agroecological zones. But what does the package program consist of? The package program consists of the following. The distribution of improved seeds, fertilizer, and pesticides to farmers. The provision of credit and improved extension services. The construction of small-scale irrigation schemes and economic and social infrastructure. The development of livestock resources through an improved feed base, veterinary services, breeding and improved livestock products. Conservation and rehabilitation of natural resources. Students, these are not the only components of the package program. The package program also consists of the following policy-related and institutional provisions. Implementing a favorable land use policy. Establishing agricultural marketing services. Encouraging private sector development. Establishing peasant associations and service cooperatives. In the first program component, ADLI aims at improving the productivity and production of smallholders by improving both allocative and technical efficiency. Well, I want you to individually explain the concepts of allocative efficiency and technical efficiency in agriculture. You have two minutes.
I hope you were able to differentiate between the concepts of allocative efficiency and technical efficiency in agriculture. Let's see their differences. Allocative efficiency refers to the use of existing land, labor, and capital in a better way through improved agronomic practices. Technical efficiency refers to the increase in resources, essentially capital, of smallholder farmers by introducing improved technology. Now let me proceed to the second program component of ADLI, which is ensuring accelerated economic growth to improve the living standards of urban dwellers. This component involves rapid changes in urban dwellers' living condition, supporting indigenous investors, and the development of urban infrastructure. Students, the third component of the program targets adopting an effective education strategy that aims at the following. Improvement in the efficiency, quality, and fairness of the curricula. Expansion of technical and vocational education. Increased participation of the community, NGOs, and private investors to improve the standard of education and improvement in educational administration. The fourth component of the program is the preventive and primary health care strategy. This program component aimed at the identification of health service problems in Ethiopia, the expansion of preventive and primary health care services, improving the supply of basic medicine and encouraging private entrepreneurs to participate in rendering health services. Students, we have come to the end of today's lesson. To sum up, today we discussed the post-1991 agricultural policies and strategies. Particularly, we discussed the Adley strategy and its four program level components. In the next non-plasma lesson, you will learn more about the post-1991 agricultural policies and strategies. So see you next time in another program. Until then, goodbye teacher, goodbye students. Thank you.